Okay, this is a concept and idea that I've been thinking about for a little while now. Uh, more specifically, ever since I reviewed uh, the Jack Off Jill uh, discography with, with their two albums, because both of them have hidden songs in them. Uh, so, what 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 exactly are my thoughts when it comes to the you know the the construct of a hidden track on an album? Is it something that I think is cool, unique, fun experience? You got the anticipation, the what if factor to it, or is it something that? quickly loses its luster, something that quickly um, becomes an annoyance once you have already heard the song and are now having to play the waiting game to uh, e eventually hear it again once the album is, you know, done with, right? Uh, I'm somebody that's in the middle with it, you know. Um, I do think it is a very uh, unique and interesting, uh, you know, aspect to making an album. The only other media that I can think um, does something similar like this is movies. You know, movies, uh, you, you get the end credits, and then depending on the film, there might be uh, an end credit scene, right? But that's usually, what, like a minute at most, um, you know books you can't really do that you know i suppose your your hidden track of a book is a is an epilogue right but i mean that that's usually immediately followed by the last page of you know the, the main story right so you can't really do anything about that so really just films and you know uh, albums can really do incorporate that this hidden feature to it uh so when it comes to that aspect i really like i, I like it i think it's unique it's a very cool experience um Especially the the mystery factor to it all, you know, it's it's not listed on like the back of an album, any of the track listings, any of the uh, lyric sheets. It it just pops up, you know. It, it's something that comes as a surprise. So that I really do enjoy. I I think it is a it's a pretty fascinating idea, uh, you know, an aspect again to making an album and one that. It is very, very niche in terms of the, the media that it can actually achieve that. But on the flip side of it, um, I also do think that it quickly does lose its it, it, its aura, if you will. Um, because to, to go back to the Jack Off Jill albums that I have. So their first album, they have a hidden track on uh, 99. And then for the second one, they have a track on 66. There is a significant portion of empty tracks between the last song and, you know, the hidden track. And I'm not just singling them out by any means. Uh, a plethora of albums do this to where, let's say the last song on an album is like track 12. And then the, the hidden one is on track 99. Um, the amount of waiting... <laughs> I know this is such a first award problem, don't get me wrong. But the amount of waiting that you have to do to actually do get that hidden track... Most times than not, it's a little underwhelming, you know, um, at least for me, this is completely anecdotal, but the record player I have, it, uh, it's like an all-in-one, it's like a jack-of-all-trades, you know, like a Swiss army knife, it plays record players, CDs, Bluetooth, cassettes, which I couldn't think of a worse way to listen to music, but anyway, so, um, and, and as, as well as with my, my car stereo as a CD player, so you could play it in, um, it does not automatically skip over to the hidden track. So it's not like, boom, track 12 is done, and then the next one's track 99, let's just say. What it does is that it moves on to track 13, but since track 13 is an empty slot, um, it doesn't play anything. But you would think that it would automatically skip it. No, what it does is that it plays out for about three seconds. So you're at track 13, wait three seconds, and then it's like, oh, there's, there's no song here. So then it moves on to track 14, Wait three seconds. Oh, there's no song here. Track 15. Wait three seconds. So, you know, you're, you're doing this ad nauseum until you finally do reach the number that the banner already has decided to put the hidden track in until you can finally, um, you know, hear it and hopefully enjoy it. That is something that I... This is a very extreme way of me putting this, but I, you know, tolerate, you know, like, like the, the first time through. Because afterwards, what I tend to do is finish the album with, like, the last listed track, right? And then I just button smash the uh, reverse button, the, the rewind button, uh, un until you get past track one, and then, you know, it starts at track 99 or whatever, again, whatever listing it's at. Um, 
Another thing that does happen, because this player definitely does do it, is that it tells you how many tracks are on an album. So you put on an album, let's say, you know, 14 tracks, but then the hidden ones on like track 60, right? So you put it in and then the player says, oh, there's 60 songs. It's like, oh, okay, well, the cat's out of the bag now, isn't it? You know, there's, no, there's no surprise or mystery or anticipation or anything like that. It's like, okay, yeah, there's going to be a hidden song here. I'm just going to have to wait here, you know, five minutes or whatever for it to finally reach. But again, just, you know, just button smash your way through it. So it definitely does have its uh, it, it, its drawbacks, That that's for sure. But, th but that's just one way of going about a hidden track because... There's also another way to do this, and uh, I put this out because I have it, and, you know, it, 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 it serves the example. Um, and that's Bruce Springsteen's album Magic, which uh, might be my favorite album of his. Um, but there's, I believe, 12 tracks on here. Uh, the hidden track is the 13th placement. So not only do you get the the the, the marketing of the album, the, the the way that it's presented both on the album cover, the, the back album cover of you know all, all the song listings. Not only do you get the songs and the lyrics on the lyric sheets, um, but you also do have the advantage of not having to wait a significant amount of time until you actually do hear the hidden track. It just boom right away at the end of the album boom there's there's your your hidden song right there that's something that i definitely prefer i i really do love that aspect because again it, it it comes at you as such a surprise because you weren't expecting it you know it, it was like oh you, you start right away okay cool it's it's like this the, 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 this discovery that you just made, you know, it's um, because you're, you're so used to tracks that are so far down the pipeline when it comes to the, the listings that for it to just, you know, start right away, pretty unique, uh, pre pretty, uh, it, it, for me, it's like the, the, the go-to way. And then there's another route that I've heard on a few albums um, that kind of uh, pisses me off. <laughs> and it's like the last song of an album and it's like, I don't know, 12 minutes long, let's just say. But the actual 12th track is like four minutes. And then the hidden song is still within the 12th track, but it starts at like the 10 minute mark and it's like a two minute song, let's just say. Well, then you got, well, what, what was the first number I said? Four minutes? You got like six minutes of like dead space in between and you can't do what 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 the first you know scenario was with the Jack of Jill albums, which was just button smash your way through until you get the hidden track. Because if you try and skip, well then you're back to the beginning of the album since both the last song and the hidden track are in the same file. It's just separated by you know fucking no man's land of, of empty sound. Uh, that really does tend to piss me off because it's like you know you can't do anything and then. Uh, most times or not after the first listen of whatever the hidden song is that that makes it up and it's like okay I'm, I'm done you know I want, want, once the official 12th track ends it's okay let's just skip forward so that we're back to the first song of the album right so that in itself is how I feel about hidden tracks it really does depend on how it's utilized um, you know my, my go to um, you know bread and butter something like what magic does which is it starts immediately after the album is presented um, when it's ending you know like uh, officially is done technically done at like track 12 but the hidden track comes right after track 13 right um but to, to go on a sort of a, a digression when it comes to newer albums um that still incorporate hidden tracks i find that to be pretty unique um, perhaps archaic, uh, because, you know, I mean, I think, like, that this whole hobby of, you know, buying and owning CDs, Brad, is, is definitely archaic at this point, right? Uh, the, the top, it's streaming, you know, listening, Spotify, YouTube, Apple, what, 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 whatever your, 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 your music, uh, your service is that, that you subscribe to and, and listen to. Uh, and then below that, I'll say buying records, the third placement. Um, honestly, I'm going to say cassettes. Cassettes seem to be really big, especially like with teenagers and stuff. And then fourth, it's like CDs, right? Um, but 
the, the placement between the top and, you know, two, three, four, it's, you know, gigantic, right? There, there, there's no competition in any of that. So I do find it to be kind of interesting when newer albums that I do listen to um, incorporate hidden tracks. Because, again, like I said when it came to my, my player that tells you the amount of tracks that are on an album... Listening, listening to uh, an, an album, like for me, like through YouTube, that already shows you the song placements, um, you know, it, it, it's there, it's, it's like right there, you know, it gets out of the bag, it's usually in parentheses, you know, like insert song and in parentheses, hidden track, um, again, for, for, for new album. So, I, I do... I do kind of appreciate that it, it it's still being utilized. Um, you know, I, I I think definitely people that strictly buy records or uh, CDs, you know, can kind kind of get their rocks off on that aspect. But when it just comes to the streaming or U- YouTube side of things, um, again, it, it, it at that point it's kind of. I mean, I don't mean to be mean or anything, but it's kind of silly, you know. It might as well just be, you know, the, the, the track that comes after, you know, the, the last song that's listed on the album. So, I don't know. It, it, it's kind of interesting. Again, it's a little archaic, but I do find it to be kind of interesting that this, that the notion that albums that, are, you know, newish albums that I know of that do have hidden tracks, but have come out, you know, five, six, seven years ago where, um, you know, listening to stuff online vastly dominates, um, and yet that they still incorporate hidden tracks. So, you know, it, it's kind of cool. Um, but then again, you know, I, I think um, in terms of this has the most um, sort of impact, that the, the, the most, you know, bang for your buck when, when it comes to a hidden track that you weren't expecting, right? When it comes to this stuff, again, like a plethora of empty tracks, you kind of already know, right? Like, once it's been radio silent for, like, 20 seconds, it's like, oh, okay, now we have to wait for a hidden track. The, the ones when it comes to the dead space, you know, fuck you, I, I, I hate that. Um, but, yeah, let, let, if, if you guys are um, a, a, of the mindset of um, really loving hidden tracks or think they're kind of weird, maybe you're, like I said, ar- archaic by today's standards, um, or something that are kind of... How would I say um, a novelty? Is it like a novelty to you guys? Um, I'll, I'll be kind of curious, but yeah, it's just it's just something I was really thinking about, um, and it's just something that I really wanted to talk about because that's what this channel is for, right? So I hope you guys are doing all right. Hopefully uh, this video didn't bore you to death or I don't, I don't know wasted you guys' time. But <laughs> anyways, anyways, this was fun to make, and like I said, I'll be kind of curious if any of you guys have any opinions when it comes to the whole. Uh, concept and idea of hidden tracks on albums. But until then, thank you guys so much for watching and take care.